Hi guys, um, it is August 8th. I'm sorry, I'm not showing my face because I just don't feel cute right now. But it's been a while since we've uploaded our last video. I just wanted to kind of come on and say basically an intro to this video, I guess. Um, we're moving to Montreal, so it's kind of a busy month. Last month was also a little bit crazy because Arvin was in fight camp uh, training for his fight and a lot of just like personal things that have happened and we've been kind of dealing with that but this month we're moving back to Montreal Toronto is great in terms of just friends I'm really gonna miss them but I'll be back here often I am kind of excited for the change because I feel like it's also gonna be a bigger spot compared to Toronto like Toronto rent is so expensive we basically live in a shoebox at least in Montreal, the rent's cheaper and I'll have a way bigger place, especially for Yoji. I feel like she could use um, more space to kind of like run around and stuff. And I am currently looking for <laughs> moving hacks and tips. I always do this every time we move. I've moved around so much in my life. But every time I feel like I need some type of new moving tips. Like there's something that other people are doing that I'm not doing properly. So I'm back on my research. Anybody else get excited when they're moving somewhere and start creating like a Pinterest board? Because that's me right now. This this mirror? I don't know where I'm going to find that. I don't think I'm going to find it, but inspo. Good inspo. The bed frame is like built into the actual floor. Like it's all concrete. Definitely, definitely not rich enough for that. But it's, you know, you could dream. Okay, one thing I was going to do is like kind of like this vibe. I feel like I could find a better pick though. Um, do I have a better pick? Okay, yeah, I like like this vibe. Okay, you see that like, um, I think it's called a platform, platform bed. But I was thinking maybe I could DIY that. I don't know, like go to Home Depot, get some wood, put it together. Alright. <laughs> I have way too much confidence in myself thinking I could do this. But yo, you know, you never know. Um, my mom like drew, uh, drew a drawing. <laughs> For, for Arvin and I, it's like of his monk. And it has like orange in it. So I'm, I'm thinking like I need some type of orange in the house. And I don't know, I kind of like saved this just because it was orange, but I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I need to find something. It is already a week until we move. Essentially, we move next Friday. Today is Thursday. A lot has happened since the last time I filmed in terms of just like hanging out with friends, catching up with them before we move. My niece was born, Miss Haley. Yeah, so packing. I packed a lot of stuff, but I feel like there's still so much left to pack. But at the same time, I don't, you know, like I, I just literally just want to snap my fingers and move. But obviously that's not happening and it's next week. So whatever. The last time I spoke to you guys, I don't know if I mentioned the fact that the condo is essentially making us like fill in any holes in the walls, which is obvious. You're just going to stay there. Um, they're making us fill any holes in the walls which is fine but um i already knew that was gonna happen but we have to also paint each wall and that's like five walls and if we let the condo do it it's like really expensive what they're asking for so i think arvin has a friend that's gonna help us do it but it's just like stressful i always like i feel like i've moved around a lot of my life but i always tend to forget how annoyingly stressful it is every time i don't know Feeling tired. I feel like I've been feeling tired and exhausted and just meh. But it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's life. I think it's just honestly probably gonna pass after we move and like get Yoji. <laughs> after we move and get um get a you know settled in in the new place. And I'm excited because it's like gonna be bigger and I feel like it'll be so much easier to like film there and yeah. Other than that, Arvin's currently at Muay Thai. 
Yochi and I are gonna go pick him up after. It's like a half an hour walk to his gym. The only thing I, I in a way, I like like walking that way. It's on Queen Street, so it's like super busy. In a way, I like it because I feel like it like gives um. Like Yoji can kind of. Yoji can kind of like socialize and like see other people around and stuff and it's like super busy so it kind of gets her used to it but also at the same time um it's just annoying like even when I walk on myself hey um when I walk on Queen Street I tend to take like the inside roads instead of going on Queen Street because I just don't want to see people and it's just too much you know like I'm Definitely become more of an introvert throughout the years. Sometimes I think I'm like, when I in, used to live in Toronto before I moved to, um, to Montreal, I used to be like such a social butterfly, I feel like. Like a part of me was obviously introverted, but for the most part, I feel like I was very social and I would like network a lot and go see people and like always be down to go out and do things. but. I feel like I'm still partially kind of down. Like I'll force myself to go do things, but it's just not the same. I, I would rather, for the most part, just stay at home, be with Yoji and Arvin and, you know, people I'm like really, really comfortable with and know really well. And yeah, why did I start talking about this? <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> I'll try to film while walking Yoji and like film more in general, you know? We just always forget the fucking camera and forget to charge the camera or something. And it's just like never happens. And like, I feel like a part of me feels like it's just fine because I want it to be, like I don't want to feel like YouTube or like filming videos is like a chore. I don't want to do that. And that's like what makes me like deter away from filming. It's like, I want to do it because I want to do it, you know? But I do want to, like, I think I would actually have fun if I took, like, I remembered to take the camera and charge it. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe the next time you see me, it's going to be in Montreal. But I'll try to film more. We will try to film more. I know Arvin also really wants to film more. Without boring you guys anymore, I'll check you guys later. Bye. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm wearing um, while I'm taking Yoji for a walk. This is like literally what I usually wear every time I have to leave the house. Nothing special. Ghani hat. Acne t-shirt. Helmet length. Sandwich shorts. Uh, Chloe boots. I've been wearing like the boots and shorts combo. I might look like an idiot to some people, but... I don't care. I like it. It's honestly, I think, my most comfortable boots that I have. And it gives me some height beside Yoji. And I like that when I take her for a walk. We're going to go pick up Arvin now at his gym. We're waiting for Arvin to finish sparring. This taking a hot minute. Minute. <laughs> Say hi. Which one is the restaurant? Le restaurant. <laughs> Le restaurant. Un restaurant français. Un restaurant français. Un restaurant français. <laughs> oh, fuck. The boy. Le. Oh? Huh? Le. Le. Le, le, le. <laughs> le. Oh. oh, le. Why does le it sound like that? The girl. Le. How do you say le? La. <laughs> C'est une gare française. C'est une gare française. No, clearly people are more in tune with my mentality than yours. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, everyone, everyone needs to the be way punctual, I, and no. nobody's fucking punctual these days. Everyone thinks the way I think. Not Stop th thinking that way. No, it's it cultural. becomes a habit. Like it's called culture. No, some no. Some cultures aren't punctual. You know, some cultures is rude to be punctual. What culture is that? That's a thing. What culture? Let me search this up. We learned this in business ethics class. <laughs> no, like international business and relations, like. Some places like you, you, they don't want to talk about anything else and they want to dive straight into business and it's rude to talk about like family, ask how family is, you know? Yeah, but w what about being late? It's a thing, trust. Okay, I know. You should move there. I know. I'd be perfect there. Why is it all Canada? I don't care about Canadian culture. <laughs> it's showing up as Canadian. It is not a Canadian thing to be late. No, it's not. But no, because like search up business culture and it keeps showing Canadian business culture. Yoji, go to Dada. Yoji, come here. She wants to be in the vlog. Yoji, come here. She's not in it because she's this <laughs> way. Yoji, you gotta put your head here. Everybody really knows it. Yoji, put your head here. Yoji, here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Say hi to the vloggy. Say hi, vloggy. Oh. Okay, did you find out? No, I fucking Yoji. Because it's all fraud. No, it's actually a thing, trust. It's not a thing. It is a thing. How are you gonna tell me other cultures? You're telling me every culture is. You're literally high. So? I don't believe anything you gotta say. All I'm saying is. You didn't find it. No, I didn't even search. I've been on Instagram so much. Oh my god. You say Indian culture, <laughs> Indian business culture. Is I don't anywhere. think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Apparently, yeah, Indian culture, they're they're used to being like ten to fifteen late, uh, ten to fifteen minutes late. But that's not like it's all rude to be er like early or like on time. So that's the only one you found. Oh no, it's rude to show up early. You're coming up with it. No, no. Would consider it rude to show up early when they have to endure your presence and cater to your being there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you. That is me. If I tell you the party starts at 8, why the fuck are you here at 7.59? Why are you here at 8? I mean, that's true. Like, when, you, when we've had people over, we're never on time. But no. when I go somewhere, I am always no, 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 no. on time. Listen, listen. When you get invited to a party, or when you... Let me talk to you two real quick. When, when you get invited to a party, or if anyone... If you're the host, let's say, and you, you want people to be there at 9.30, you wouldn't put the invite at 9.30, right? You would put the invite around like 9 or 8.30, so people show up at 9.30. Don't no? Put, yes, that's how no? people fucking host shit, yeah. What the fuck? That's so stupid. Why wouldn't you just put it for a later time? I don't understand. Because then people will show up even later. <laughs> that's what you don't understand. Nobody... Okay, if no, you're invited so to a party... Dumb. No, if you're invited to a party and the guy was like, Yo, party starts at 9. Who the fuck is going there at 9? Nobody. Literally me. No, nobody <laughs> would fucking go there. It's like going to a club. Nobody's fucking going there at night because nobody's fucking there. But you don't want to be the fucking first person there all awkward and shit holding your fucking liquor. Like, oh, what the fuck do I say to the yeah, only other like two people there? Nah, you show up there. What if you want to leave early? You don't show up there just for... Then just don't go. <laughs> what if you have to go? Always go. No. 40. Like, I feel like you'd be late for literally everything. I feel like you'd, you'd find it fine if you were late for a job interview. No, see, that's where you're wrong. I was on time for my job interview. Were you? I mean, I didn't have any job interviews um, in person actually. Because oh. I did them online. Were you on? I was, I was on the camera when the time was the time. The time was the time? Like, if the video camera was at 10, I was already in the meeting by 10, you know what I mean? I'd be there a minute early at like 9.59 if the meeting was at oh, 10. Oh, he's punctual. Just, just online <laughs> no just for work shit but if i'm if it's not fucking if i'm not looking for a job or anything and i'm fucking going to a party but what I'm if you have an appointment like, oh uh, like a hair you mean, I'm always on time for you're op on time to my get your physio? haircut to get your haircut when the fuck was the last time i got my haircut i get my haircut at home 
Kate, well, you went last time. To, well, one time. Just, I was early. <laughs> and then you were complaining, probably. That it was too early. Yeah. No, but I actually, I actually fucked up the time because I thought it was at, it was like four fifteen, but I thought it was at four, and I ended up getting there at like three fifty five. So I was there like twenty minutes early or some shit. I. I don't know. And you know what the, the other thing is? Half the times when I'm even there on time, motherfuckers are not ready. If I go to get my hair done, the barber is still working on some next man when I'm fucking there on time. So why am I there on time for? Not even done. Barber's always running late. I've never seen a barber that's like, yo, I'm on time today. Ahead of my schedule. Mans are always like, yo, sorry, I'm running late today. I'm like, every time I show up to the barber shop, you're running late. So it's their scheduling. They just expect you to be late. See, this is what our culture runs on. They expect people to be late, and then when the moment you're not late, they're stressing. They're like, oh, fuck, why aren't you late? They're like, oh, yo, sorry, I'm running behind on schedule, fam. <laughs> you know, see, that's how it is. Um, and then you have punctual people like this one over here, fucking up the system. She's the problem with the system. If everyone runs a little bit late, the system runs fine. It's when a motherfucker shows up on time and you're like, oh, fuck, now I gotta figure out what to do because this person's so here so damn early. I don't know. I feel like it's nice to be early. It's Think like, about every time we hosted a party and a guy shows up right at 8 when the party starts at 8 and we're like, fuck, people are here That's already. true, but that's like a party. No, but that's anything, like an event, any birthday, dinner. Even a dinner, if you're like, yo, invite some friends for dinner. When you say it's at 6.30, most of the times people will be here at like 6.40, 6.45. It's a normal thing, 10, 15 minutes. Like, I could be late. <laughs> I can be late with Erica, cause like... Oh, she's late. <laughs> so then you guys end up being on the same schedule. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm saying, you all have to be late so that you're late with everybody else's schedule. The moment you're not late and everybody else is late, you're early. You're not on time anymore, you're early. That's 2022. If you're on time, you're early. And if you're late, you're on schedule. Boom. Ugh. Some guy in the car, he was like, hey, does anyone have one of these things I can borrow for like 20 minutes? <laughs> this is how we would ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> can we... <laughs> have one of these things I can borrow, send a picture. <laughs> like a Google stock. We <laughs> actually did, I think I put it in the garbage. Yeah, ours is. Was... Oh, yeah, you're up. Let's take me to your house. Yeah, exactly. Like, when we Italian speaking Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I want to go next. I want to go to Italy and get my citizenship. Jeez. Oh, that'd be yeah. Sad. I was thinking about it beyond. Also, Chaki brought like amazing things. We went through one bag of Chaki news, we yeah? went the next bag because we literally got like. Okay, and, like, let's, uh, yeah, let's we start, right? Yeah. Just for now. Okay. So, what am I looking through? This one? We went, we went through this one, but you can go through this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also, if you guys want drinks, I have like a bunch. I would love something. Can you I also have rosé. Oh, goodness. And then I have the boat. Drink. I just, oh. So, your choice. I'm about to get six, so. Um, I mean, I don't have well. a cup, so. She wears a drink up her. That could be all yours, <laughs> We said, <laughs> <laughs> like, we, maybe you didn't like it. No, no it's a good wine. I don't like wine. Amanda, do you want one of these? Have, do, do you well, drink it's natural wine? It's like pretty good. Have you tried good natural? I don't think so. Okay, well, when I'm in Montreal, and then I will take you to some of the really good natural ones. Yes. I'm a big Okay, let's do it. Please. Beer gal. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers! It is actually pretty good. What is that? Sweet. It's like a, I don't even know. It's like a ice tea. No boats on Sunday. Oh, it's a seltzer. seltzer. I don't I'm like seltzer. seltzers. Oh, so that's surprising. I am a seltzer. Okay, let's yeah. go. Okay, let's, let's try. Okay, so I can be the one who's showing them to everyone. Uh, me and Rainer are like fully going at it. Like, oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Cute, <okay. laughs> <laughs> cute, cute. I guess we're just like going through. Yeah. Like, we go. Oh yeah, Prada sneakers is yours. Amanda's feet. Oh, the whoever's feet they fit. Try stretching out the um, the laces because I like, definitely. Amanda's like, I will make them oh, today. Yeah, try it, try it, just try it. Those are These cute. Are big Ooh. Uh, they're Arvins. I don't know what brand. 
Dookie vibes. I can't imagine what I've been wearing though. I just can't, like, I only wear like loose pants now. I feel like these would be loose. Ah! So is me anymore. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's, a tight, it's a tight, it's a little bit tight, but I feel but like. But if you, maybe if you fully loose stretch them, them do you, yeah, stretch them. It doesn't like stretch. So like they, a, they'll fit, they'll fit. Yeah. Guys, I'll make, make them work. <laughs> I'll make these work. I have to. I get a little piece of chafe in my life. Okay, I got these, <laughs> I think they're fake, but I got them at Beacon's Closet for $65. I saw them, I went, I'm taking them. <laughs> like, I don't like Golden Goose, but they're used, so it's tough. Whatever. Yeah, and both of those, they're, they're not their situation. Cute. That's why I don't like yeah. them. That's why I don't like them. Like, 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 I kind of like this situation. You know what I mean? This holy little brunette. Thing. Is this Arvin's or is this Is this too big? Uh, I think that's the Arvin's. No, uh, oh, you look so good. Yeah, that, nice. like, that looks so good on you. Okay, you just can't wear wool. That looks Wait, so good on you. Yeah, like just with my um. Yes. Okay. Cute. Wait, I'm missing things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just watching Emmy. Emmy pull like, it all out. Like, maybe think on so I'm just gonna like there for now, and then I'll the thinking pile. Yeah, some of these are like, they're just stuff that's never been. Yeah, I also have some of that. Cute checkered moment. Wow, wow. Wait, those are kind of clean. It kind of could fit you. Oh, they have marks on them, but I can't do washer shit. Which way? Was it a shirt? Some cute shirt moment. And then there's a belt. No, oh, I it's thought it was a tie. <laughs> oh, it's no, a, no, that's a bell. That's garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually recycling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now you have to look through this. Yeah, bag. I'll look through yeah. the other bag as well. Because you saw two things that you may like. Did you see the rest? Erica? Yeah, I have. No, wait, I, I didn't see the rest. Okay, you, you go. Let me, you let go me look. This. You go through that. I, I switched. I literally charged this fucking camera, and now it's going to die. Oh, my You're short. I love you, JP. <laughs> I love you forever. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Just incognito. <laughs> we are currently stuck in traffic and we're still in Toronto, basically. Outskirts of Toronto. To the new crib. We finally moved back to Montreal. This is a new apartment. Trey's watching some Netflix show. It's not Netflix. Oh, whatever. What are you watching? Disney Plus. What is it called? Good Trouble. It's really good. Get Trouble, guys. Good. Whack. Anyways, yeah, we still got a bunch of boxes to unbox, but this is the apartment. That's the front door, kitchen area. Look at this big living room space. Yoji's there chilling, like uh, checking out the streets, making sure the streets are safe. Yeah, the space is so nice. It's, just, it's huge. Like, it'll be a lot easier for us to film and stuff now that we're finally settled in. Finally shoot consistently yourself. And Greg literally lives five minutes away from us, <laughs> which is sick. So, yeah, you'll definitely see him more. Uh, yeah, this is the bedroom. We got rid of our bed frame in Toronto, so we'll probably be getting something else in replacement, but won't dive into that. Got a nice little walk-in closet. This is where all my like sports loungewear is. Chase side is over there. Uh, over here, got a washroom. Super sick. Has like the shower and the bathtub inside. I love my baths, so this is clutch. Boom. Uh, and then we've got this room right here. Oh, this is a closet right here as well. So there's a lot of space for our clothes because, you know, we have so much clothes. Uh, yeah, right here is kind of like our second room. We, we're just going to use it as like a closet. Still unpacking, still got a lot of clothes to unpack. But And then here's another little like... I don't know if you consider this a room, but a little area has like a cabinet too, which we'll probably put clothes. And then 
this little space we're not sure what to do yet and the laundry room right here laundry room right there yeah so it's a really spacious spot obviously uh yeah i mean montreal rent is definitely a lot cheaper than toronto so decided to get like a nice spot um since we're moving back and stuff and like the bigger space is going to be great for us to film and stuff because we definitely want to start like filming again consistently and putting out content for you guys i know we took in a bit of a hiatus i mean life was just really hectic i was doing my fight camp and then we were like literally packing every day and moving planning this move so now that we're finally unpacking and stuff we'll definitely be able to shoot more consistently and stuff and like we're also gonna have a couple trips coming up which we'll be able to vlog like chase going to toronto in like literally less than two weeks uh and then right after i'm going to new york with greg uh and some other guys from essence end of the uh, month che has another toronto event i might come with you i'm not sure but essence is doing some event so uh yeah she'll be in toronto at the soho house and yeah uh, i'm gonna keep unpacking we'll get back into it hi guys so I'm about to go, oh my god, there's a bee. I'm about to go pick up some shoes from a brand that I'm going to do like a little Instagram thing for. But regardless, I love the shoes, so I'm happy to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go grab it for right now. These fucking bees, man. I don't even know. Anyways, we're still unpacking back home. Um... And the move is going pretty well. We're still looking for like furniture and stuff. Because the place is honestly pretty spacious and it looks pretty empty. So yeah, we'll check back with you in a bit, I guess. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. Shout out to our landlord. What's his name? Mark. Shout out to Mark for getting us a, a what? Welcome home. Well, I think it's wine. Wine or champagne? Whatever, our Probably landlord got, got us this nice. Oh, I guess. Well, yeah. one of Just these be careful. Don't do shake it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Three days later, we're opening the bottle. Well, we have more open space now. To open yeah, stuff. that's true. There's so shit everywhere, so but like. Curved. It's finally getting sorted out slowly. Oh, you know what would be actually so nice? If we poured some of this wine and went into the bathtub and drank it. Oh, that sounds good. Should we have a bath? Yes, we should. It's pretty good. Anything else you want to say? Nope. <laughs> 